Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve one react question that was asked to my friend recently. So the question read as we have to create a custom hook called use previous that will store the previous value of the state. For example, let's say we have a state. Let me define a state over here. Count and set count so the initial value of the state is 0 now we have one variable previous count and we have to create this use previous hook that will get the current value as input and it will return the previous value for the initial call it will return undefined because it does not holds any value of the state for the initial call. So initially the value will be undefined and for the all the subsequent calls it will return the previous value of the count. Let's say we increase the count to 1 so use previous will return 0. We have to implement this use previous hook. So let's see how we can implement this. Implementing use previous gives the impression of how you how do you understand the react framework how react works so it, it shows the understanding the rendering of how react does under the hood so let me create one span over here or a paragraph tag here we'll print the count And that is not the dollar, only count. And below that, we'll print the previous count. And then here, let me remove this and create a button. So, on the click of the button, we'll update the count. is count plus one so if i run this you will see that we'll see the value zero and a blank value for previous count and the button because if previous is not implemented so it's showing an error let me comment that out let me comment this too but it's not commenting let, let's create a dummy function for the previous count so that it does not throw an error let me run this let add let's say use previous hook so you'll see that count is zero and here let's rename this to previous count so it's empty because we are not returning anything so react is not printing now to implement this use previous hook what many people do is they use state to hold the value so let's say current state and then set current state equal to use state and initially it will be nothing then we will use the use effect hook and to the use effect hook we will pass the input value as a dependency and we update the state over here so this is what many people do and this does not work because let me run this you will see when I run this, both the state will have same value. So the previous and the current. And even if I update, you will see that both are having the same value. This is because when you click on the button, the use state is called and the state update happens. After that, the value is passed to the use previous and inside the use previous also the state update happens. So it triggers a re-render. That is why after updating the value in the use previous we get the updated value rather than the previous value now to solve this 
we can simply replace the state with the use refu because reference can store the value but it does not trigger a re-render so in that case our value is safe but it does not initially trigger the re-render and we have the previous state of the value so if you see if i run this so i get the count as one and here it is zero similarly if you see it is working perfectly fine so this is how you can create a use previous hook it has many use case in react in the coming videos we'll see how we can use use previous hook to determine what has caused a component to update thank you